Wanda and Strange are two of the most powerful beings in the MCU. I feel like a lot of us knew it, but the fact that they confirmed it is kind of cool. So first, Patrick Stewart, that line, said that people have been imitating his voice for 60 years when people were asking, hey, and that Doctor Strange 2 Multiverse of Madness trailer, that was your voice, right? And here's the thing, after he did that whole, oh, people have been imitating my voice for 60 years, he went and did an interview and said, oh yeah, I was really surprised that just from my shoulder and my voice, which I think I had a cold at the time and even I couldn't recognize, that people knew immediately it was me. Patrick. You lying bitch! Anyway, speaking of Doctor Strange 2 Multiverse of Madness, Benedict Cumberbatch said that the madness isn't the fact that, oh, we're dealing with all these different universes, it's the madness of seeing different versions of you that perhaps became better than you or achieved more than you. And then on the other side, uh, the evil monster inside of you, versions of you that let it out uh, a bit more or quite a bit more, and that's the, the madness of it. So we're being told by Ryan Reynolds, no, Deadpool will not be in Doctor Strange 2. I don't know if you've heard rumors about that, supposedly they were going on. And while he said that, there are still other people going, oh no, he's totally lying, he's gonna be in it, but meh. But speaking of Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds did share online, hey, I'm working on getting more information to you guys about Deadpool and the future in the MCU as part of Disney, and once I have more clarification, I'll give information to you. So I'm hoping that means soon we're going to hear more about Deadpool. Disney, if you make it PG-13 and not rated R, we're gonna go to the, the Pitchfork and Torches store. There are some rumors that we might see a new Wolverine or maybe a variant of Wolverine in the Multiverse of Madness. I know I'm gonna say his name wrong. Taron Egerton, the guy in the Kingsman, uh, fabulous actor. There were rumors that he was going to play Wolverine and he has said uh, no, not as far as he knows, but we also know that the mouse has a stranglehold on people and you don't know, spill stuff, otherwise Kevin Feige has his snipers take you out. So, is he Wolverine or variant Wolverine? Meh. Okay, we got a look at merchandise for Thor Love and Thunder, and also a look at their outfits, and they're all right. I'm more interested in King Valkyrie looking just so regal, and that goat boat Mwah. Good to see the rumors about the Asgard tours was true. Also, I have to say, Christian Bale is looking fabulous these days. I rarely collect Lego sets nowadays, but I sort of want this set, mainly because of the boat, but also the, the realistic depiction of Christian Bale. I just didn't know we had that type of technology. Peter Dinklage teased that he might be back in Thor Love and Thunder, and please, please, don't let that just be a tease. Don't blue ball us. Oscar Isaac doesn't think this is the last time we're going to see Moon Knight and his own live action TV series on Disney Plus coming out, I think? the end of March? I could be completely wrong. But he said that we won't see future Moon Knight unless we watch the series. So when it comes out on Disney Plus, just watch it so we get more of that sweet, sweet muffin. Also, I know that they've changed a, a bit his personalities and that angered some people. Just, just let it go. I think something really cute that Oscar shared was that he didn't want to sign on to Moon Knight unless they said, hey, we're going to let you have input. We're going to have you have a little bit of creative control. And I have a feeling his dig about that was, Lucasfilm Star Wars where it was very rigid, you're doing this, 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 and he didn't want to do that again. You could see the interviews towards the end of the sequel trilogy where he was just like, are we done? Are we good? Okay, I'm, I'm out of here. I just hit the mic, sorry. So I, I think he likes the money of Disney, but he didn't like with Star Wars the, the amount of stranglehold control. Let's move on to Spider-Man No Way Home spoilers. Andrew Garfield shared that at first he thought him appearing in the movie was stupid because he didn't think anyone wanted to see a 38-year-old in spandex. Sir. 
There are plenty of 38 year olds I have loved to see in spandex. Y you never have to worry about that. In fact, there are people on the internet that talk about my tatas and I'm an elderly woman. So if a gilf can get some sexual attention, 38 year old in spandex come on dude actually andrew didn't join until he heard that toby was doing it and we heard that he was like okay i'm in and actually on set they became besties which is just so adorable i know tom holland also said that andrew coming back and doing uh, no way home was a way of him making peace with the studio and with spider-man but there are heavy rumors that he will be back as a uh, uh, Spider-Man in a future project, and I don't doubt that, and, and I'm really excited for that. And I say that as someone that ranks him at the bottom of the three Spider-Men. You know, it's Tom Holland, Tobey Maguire, and then him. And I'm still super excited. Kirsten Dunn said that there is still time for her to reappear as MJ and... I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like her version of MJ was just a, a, a psycho fucking bitch, but maybe that's just me. Maybe psycho bitches just sends out other psycho bitches, so. The bit with the symbiote was left ambiguous in No Way Home, so you may have seen that scene. The, the people in charge of that movie didn't know if that was going anywhere. They just left it open-ended for them to go somewhere with it in the future, which, fingers crossed, they they do do something with it in the future. By the way, I don't know if someone needs to hear this, but in verse it was explained that the Spider-Man costume we see at the end of No Way Home was actually sewn by Spider-Man himself. And it doesn't have any of the crazy gadgets, but there may be a Spider-Man suit or two that's hidden away that does have all those crazy gadgets and maybe we'll see it in the future is what we're being told. J.K. Simmons shared that he will appear in the future as J. Jonah James. <laughs> Morbius will be VFX for Morbius's character and actually um, any other supernatural creature that is in the movie because I guess practical effects, Jared Leto just didn't feel like it could do Morbius justice. I don't know. The guy, the guy's a little bit interesting. My camera died. Anyways, there was a, another trailer for Morbius, and it was fine. I feel like they just remembered. Oh shoot, Matt Smith is in this movie. Maybe we should highlight him a little bit, which actually has me worried that it's going to be another throwaway villain. But fingers crossed that they don't fuck this up. When is Sony ever fucked up? It was teased that they purposely left Jack's fate unknown in Hawkeye because they were thinking, ooh, maybe Swordsman in the future, we use him. I really like Jack. I would look forward to seeing a series about him or even him as a minor character popping up here or, here or there. So I like it. Michael Chiklis talked about Fantastic Four being rebooted under uh, Disney controlling Marvel BNCU, and he said that hopefully when they reboot it, it's not going to be all dark and, and brooding because that's not what the Fantastic Four is about. I, I don't know if he's throwing shade at any other Fantastic Four reboot, but I am. James Gunn said Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 will be more grounded based off of his movie, the T-S-S. -S. I don't think we're allowed to say that one S word anymore. And, and Peacemaker. So uh, probably a much more bloodier, uh, sad, soul-tearing uh, film. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is going to be. Also, uh, Peter is not going to be affected by going to Earth and having modern music, that was confirmed by James Gunn. I don't know if anyone needed to hear that, where they were like, oh, since he went to Earth, is he gonna pick up all the modern music and that's gonna be in volume three? No. <laughs> Brie Larson shared a photo of her chair saying Captain Marvel or Carol Danvers. Oh fuck, I gotta look at the photo, hold on. All I wrote in my notes was, uh, it, it was a photo of her chair, so either it says Carol Danvers or Captain Marvel, one of the two. Anyway, she thinks people are gonna just be absolutely excited and lose their minds over Captain Marvel 2, the Marvels. And I completely agree with her. I don't, I don't see a single person 
having a problem with her. 